In this video, we're going to show you how you can work around the limitation of only being able to trim an audio clip from the end. So here we have a simple beat on the Novation circuit. I have an audio track I created. Let's just record that right into this audio clip here. Record and press play. So there it is, it's playing now. Now what I want to do is add, that's just one bar, so I'm going to add a guitar track, it's going to be two bars, and the first bar I'm going to mess up on it, purposefully. So I'm going to press my foot pedal here, and we're going to mess up, and then we're going to play the right thing. So there's the part we want to get rid of, that first half, and then this part we want to keep, so that part will loop and then this will be cut out. So we can't do that actually. If you press the beginning, it doesn't do anything. Press the end, so we can trim the end, but we want to trim the beginning here. If we go into the waveform view, we have start. If we move start over here, it time stretches it. So we don't want to time stretch it. I just want to trim it. So we're going to go back here. What we have to do here is go to arranger. So I'm going to press song until it blinks. There's the drum track, so we'll put that in. So this is the guitar track. That's the guitar track, that's the drums. Press play. Want to cut that part out. So this part's fine. So here's what we have to do. So we're going to create a new audio clip by holding this down and then pressing select. There it is, audio 15. Okay, now what I want to do is put a dummy clip right here. That's going to stop the recording. So we're going to record what we hear here. And it's going to stop the recording because I entered that in. So it'll just stop automatically. That way you don't have to manually do it. We have to set the source of this track. And right now it's set to stereo input. What I want to do is change it to output. What that's going to do is it's going to record the output of the deluge right back in. So now what we have to do is imagine this part, the left column here, is where the cursor is we just have to tell it where to start from. So I just want to move it right here. Now, if you're not sure where to go, you can just hold down left, right knob, press play. It'll start wherever you want. So over here, definitely want to start right here. Okay. And we're going to want to loop that. So here's the thing. We don't want to record the drums and they want that to stay as a separate track. So what I'm going to do is hold down left, right knob. We're going to solo these two tracks. Now we hold down record and we're going to enable recording on this track that we created. And we're going to enable it here. Let's record right from here. And we just press play. Okay. We're going to get rid of that dummy clip because we don't need it anymore. Now we can see we have this part of the wave recorded right back in. So what I'm going to do now is hold it down and press song. I'm going to change the color to pink. I'm going to drag it up here with all the other clips. We're going to mute this track which we didn't want anymore. I could just delete it at this point. And then we're just going to press play and now it's going to loop that section of the audio that we created. There you go, and that's how it's done.